is the steam that I have to contend with every morning. Oh, what a hard life. What a hard, hard life I live. It's six o'clock in the morning. I've just slept for 12 hours straight after being up for kind of 24 hours. So, I'm not complaining. Welcome to two weeks worth of this. Very happy. Thunder, look at her little tail. You are so adorable. It is so warm right now. I am absolutely baking. We're out seeing people. It's Diwali today, so a lot of the shops are gonna be shut, I believe, but there are still sort of street vendors doing their thing. Some people come up on a, a Friday and a Saturday and sell their wares. They come on the ferry from Tobago, no, from Trinidad, sorry, and then they travel back in the evening, sell what they can in the morning and then travel back. It's usual island life, it's really nice, it's really gorgeous. Have a look at this view. It is absolutely gorgeous out there. We are by the sea. I mean, this is quite a small island. It's 27 miles across and I believe five miles wide, but it seems longer because there are so many hills that they have to kind of build round the hills as opposed to through them. And that means that a lot of the roads are winding, very steep and very long so a 27 mile trip gets longer when you're sort of going around hills around mountainous kind of areas i wouldn't say mountainous but quite steep areas Western part of Tobago. It contains the Arthur Napoleon Raymond Robinson International Airport, which was formerly known as the Crown Point Airport. A lot of tourists come to stay at the hotels which are dotted around here. There are also restaurants, bars and clubs and a shopping mall. There is access to a couple of beaches which include Pigeon Point, Store Bay and Buku Reef. made that look so easy. Tropical rain. I love it. It's kind of beautiful in its own way. and this lighthouse still lights up in the evening and guides ships in to the harbour. In October 1777, Lord George McCartney, British Governor General of Grenada and Tobago, authorised the erection on Scarborough Hill of two barracks and a double kitchen to house two company of soldiers, together with capping the hill for a parade ground. 
by 1779, work was near completion. Fort George was used to house the Tobago Regional Hospital, which was eventually moved to Signal Hill on the 15th of December 2012, nine years and nine months after the sod was turned to complete construction of the 100-bed Scarborough General Hospital at Signal Hill. The first inpatient was admitted. A lot of services provided at the regional hospital ceased on that day. Today, the fort is being restored and reconstructed and will be named Fort King George Heritage Park.